Hey everybody, I'm going to show off some uh, Virtua Tennis 4 for the PlayStation Vita. Kind of give you an idea of how it looks and plays and uh, whatnot. Because right now, uh, <clears throat> it's actually discounted right now for uh, I think like $19 or something like that. If you have PlayStation Plus, so if you're wanting to pick up a new Vita game, here's a pretty good one. I'm not really into tennis that much, but this game is actually uh, keeping me pretty entertained. So I'll show you some arcade play and you can make your decision off this and look up some other reviews or whatnot so <clears throat> there's not much wrong I see with this game either I mean it's a really well built game the graphics are outstanding All right, here we go. And I'm playing on the normal difficulty right now, so I should have no problem beating this guy, but <clears throat> if I was playing on a harder difficulty, I'm sure I'd be struggling a lot more than you'll see here. Oh yeah, th this game also has the online play, which is fantastic. I haven't found any lag, and if someone quits early, they get penalized for it. So, I mean, <clears throat> it decreases the chance of someone quitting on you, which is really awesome. And, I mean, you can just see the graphics right there, just so well done. And there's also touch screen capabilities, I'll show you that right now. And it's kinda weird, but it works. Whichever way you kinda swipe towards that he'll hit the ball that way. So I mean if you want to get a more accurate hit, you could do that, but I don't use it ever. I'm all about the actual button controls. It's a lot easier for me and just feels right. <laughs> But you can do power shots and uh, lobs and all that and different types of uh, hits so you're not just doing the same thing over and over. And when I get my, if you look at the top left, uh, that's my power meter or special meter or whatever it is. But when I get that full, like right now it's flashing, I can do a slow motion power shot kind of thing. So, or super shot or whatever it's called, I don't know. But I'll show this off right now so you can kind of see. It's pretty cool because it goes in slow motion. I love slow motion stuff. It's kind of a wasted one though, but <laughs> I enjoy the slow motion. It's pretty sweet watching that, especially if you score off of it. And this does have full trophy support all the way up to platinum, so if you're looking for some more trophies to hunt, this game definitely has it, so... And the mini games on here also are pretty awesome. Like, there's some mini games on here that are pretty funny to play, but they're actually really entertaining. So it's not just the same old thing over and over, which is which really keeps me hooked. And that's what I love about games: the ability to just play so many different types of things in one game. So, so yeah, I just won that match. <clears throat> and if I were to continue, I would go against another guy, and then two other guys if I were to beat the next guy. And that's how you beat a arcade challenge. So I'll show off one of the mini games just so you can kind of see one of the mini games that are uh, available in this game, which happens to be my favorite mini game. It's pretty in entertaining. Alright, so here's my favorite uh, mini-game. Mini it's a, a bomb match, 
where you are, the, instead of the you using a tennis ball, you're actually using a bomb, and the timer goes down, and when it explodes, whoever it explodes on loses, kind of, so. And those uh, numbers right there represent negative time, so the ball says, like, 20 seconds. If it hits one of those uh, timer drop-down things, uh, the bomb will decrease in time quicker instead of just how slow it's going right now. And if it if you do happen to get it past the person, the bomb will just stop time and then you'll just reserve with the continued time that it has. Yeah, See, just like that. Pretty entertaining. Time extended. It definitely makes it pretty interesting when you're getting that ball really close to being zero and it's coming right back at you. It takes a lot of strategy to figure out how you're gonna hit the ball back over there to keep it from uh, exploding on you or else you're gonna I don't think you I don't think you lose points if it explodes on you but you will uh, your time will run out and if you don't get enough points then you'll lose the mini game so So yeah, that would be, uh, my, oh, and I just unlocked a trophy. <laughs> so, alright, well, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe and, uh, look for more videos to come out, especially with, uh, Little Big Planet coming out soon, and, um, Ragnarok Odyssey, Assassin's Creed, all these great Vita titles are coming out. So, uh, remember, subscribe to my page, look for more videos to come soon. And thank you for watching.